What's going hey, on? Hey, Kaylin, Cassie Soto with the Las Vegas Review Journal. When we talked a few months back, you yeah. said you were going to be excited to not get tackled on a baseball diamond anymore. Yeah. How impressive is this? Oh, no, it's very impressive, man. The, uh, the yard keepers, uh, you know, for the field have done a great job. It's really fast. It's comfortable. Uh, I know a couple guys thought it was going to be artificial turf, but it turned out to be real grass. So we're very, very excited for this. Hey, Jalen, what was your first impression when you walked in? What uh, excited you the most about this place? Um, really just, you know, the, the stadium itself, like, man, how it looks. I mean, I, I haven't seen a stadium that looks like this ever. Like, you know, it's blacked out, looks like a nice limousine or blacked out H2 Hummer. You know, it just looks real nice and big and uh, aggressive. And then you get inside and then it's just beautiful. I mean, from the glass, I kind of walked around before the uh, practice today and um, saw like the little party area, the, you know, the drinks, the walked around to the club areas and stuff, man. It's, it, it wasn't a, a, a piece unturned. Like everything was nice and finished well. So I'm, I'm excited. Hey, Lynn, when, when you walk around like everything you say is, you know, how surreal everything is, is it strange that you believe uh, for this going I'm sorry, you was breaking you was breaking in and out, I'm sorry. Is it surreal to think as, as great as the stadium is, you won't have fans here? Yeah, it is kind of surreal. I mean, uh, it's so big and massive and um to me a little bit more on top of us than um the Oak you know, the Oakland Stadium, Oakland Coliseum. So uh definitely when it's with it field, that's what I was looking at. I was like, man, with this thing field, it's gonna it's gonna rock. Like it's gonna have like that feeling of like I think uh, Minnesota Stadium was like that kind of like more tight, and it just feels like the stand of uh, fans are up on top of you. But um, <clears throat> it's gonna be definitely weird without having those fans in there, just seeing this big old nice stadium and and it not be you know full with fans. So, uh, but a lot of good football will be going on. You know, we'll be able to communicate out on the field. A lot of guys, defensively and offensively, will be able to communicate, and uh, there's gonna be a lot of good football going on, man on man type stuff. Uh, Jalen, uh, after practice, I noticed you were uh, – there's just one person on the, on the sidelines uh, just a few minutes ago, and it was you. You were the last person here. It's like you're walking the perimeter. Are you just kind of like taking it all in? Is it uh, any bit of kind of emotional for you coming from where you've come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, walking is something I kind of took on now. That's something I do every day uh, after practice. It just give me a couple walks around the field, just kind of cool down. And just, again, like you said, just kind of reminisce, just think about – you know, how far I have came and stuff. And um, definitely today, I definitely was thinking about that as I was walking around the field doing my usual walk after practice. We just kind of looking around like, man, from Louisiana, then I go to Southern Miss. And we had we have some, had some, you know, good facilities. But as soon as I left, they revamped everything, like new weight room, new everything. And then I get to Oakland, and, you know, I think this is like gold in Oakland, right? And, uh, you know, I guys from other teams come in. It was like, ah, this is kind of like, you know, yeah, mediocre a little bit, you know what I mean? To to now seeing what we have now, I'm just uh, I definitely won't take none of this for granted, and you know, go out there and, and do what I can to help us win. Hey, Jalen, did you think you at all were a little starstruck during practice there? Was everybody on the ball, or was there, did you catch some guys looking up and around? And was, yeah, yeah, a couple, yeah, a couple guys were. I mean, for a little bit, I was uh, definitely wanted the coach wanted us to get that game feel going on. So I made sure I was locked in, uh, going through the pregame, um, you know, mock pregame and, and those type of things. But you could definitely feel guys like just kind of looking around and just like, like saying, "Wow!" I even got on the uh, Basachi because uh, usually in um, pregame warm up, he's throwing the RBs the ball when we go team. And um, he 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 didn't throw me the ball today, so I was like, man, get your you know get your head out the lights. He looking around like I know the stadium nice, but yeah, you know I need my catch. So, uh, but yeah, I, I mean everybody was stargazed about it, man. Again, it's a beautiful stadium, and uh, and we can't wait to get in here and play. Two more questions, guys. What have been your thoughts about uh, Lynn Bolden so far? The rookie coming out. Uh, one thing about it, I mean he a grown man. Um, one thing I would say. It's hard for rookies coming into the league is um, just being real confident. And I, w I say not scared, but uh, it's really a confidence thing, like knowing that, you know, th this is some real grown man stuff in the NFL. And you can't be scared to stick your head in there. Um, you might not be right all the time, um, but go full speed and, and just know that, you know, go in there with a loving heart that you want to play the game and you want to do your assignment. So, that's what I've been seeing from Lynn mostly is just like just his willingness and like want to to play the game and learn the running back position because again he ain't never really played it before, 
So he's been really like hands on with like trying to learn and really take in what Kirby's saying. He comes ask me questions. Josh, like everybody in the room, just helping him as far as this running back transition goes for him. And I, I think he's gonna be fine. Last question. Can you build a home field advantage when you don't get to play before fans? Uh, <laughs> um. I think so because they, you know, they still got to come in and um and fly in and still do the whole hopping on the flight and come in to play us. Um, I mean, people don't take into account how much that takes a toll on people. Um, I had to learn that my first two years in the league, and then I used to see that stat come across that the Raiders we flew the most the most miles out of anybody in the team. So uh, that home field advantage is more than just the fans. Uh, I think people need to. You know, think about like the travel up to it, how far guys flying, you get tight and stiff on the plane and, you know, all those different things. And then the city that you're in, you know, so that always plays a factor too. So um, I think it's, it's you still can have somewhat of a home field advantage, but again, it won't be the same. Like I said, we won't have the fans to be able to uh, mess with the defense communication or, you know, make it a little hard for us or calm down. Uh, when we're out there on the field. So I think it's, like I said, there's going to be a lot of good football like going on. It shouldn't be too many blown coverages or too many guys on missed assignments and missed plays because the communication should be there because we ain't going to have so much noise around us. So I think that's how it's going to be. Thank you, Jalen. All good. Thank y'all.